Hi everyone. Today we will see how to implement dynamic RLS in Power BI. What is RLS? RLS stands for Low Level Security. It is a security feature in Power BI that allows you to restrict data access at the row level based on user roles and permissions. RLS ensures that each user can only see and interact with the data they are authorized to access without affecting the underlying data model. If you see the report here, we have a simple table visual which shows project details like ID, name, revenue, headcount, and vertical. To implement RLS, we have to create our pool table which has user access information. We will create a table and give user vertical access. Click on enter data. We will create two columns, email and vertical. Here we will enter user email IDs. And we will give respective vertical access. Say, consider Deepak as finance head, so we will give him finance access. We will add another user. We will give Ashutosh retail access. Add another user. The give Ritu travel access. We will give and retail access name this table as RPS click on load Once the table got loaded, go to model view and establish a relationship between your table and RLS table. I'll create a relationship between vertical. Make sure the cross filter direction is set to both and check this box. Apply security filter in both directions. Click on OK. Now go to report view. Go to modeling, click on manage rules. Here, create a role, we'll say vertical RLS, and the filter on the RLS table will create it. Click on add filter, then select email. Here, enter user principal name. This method returns email ID. Of the current user logged in. Click on verify, then save. Now publish the report to service. Save. Select your workspace. Open this report. In the workspace, click on the three dots of the data set, then click on security. Add users to the role. Once you add all the users, click on add, then save. Now to test the RLS, click on the three dot test as role. Here, enter the email address of the user. Click on apply. When user accesses the published report, Power BI dynamically applies the RLS rules to filter the data based on the assigned role.
for Kiran, we have assigned finance vertical and retail. So we can see only this data. Now we will see for other people. For Deepak, we have assigned only finance data. Okay, yeah, only finance data. Now we will see for Ritu. For Ritu, only travel data is coming. By implementing RLS in Power BI, we can ensure that sensitive data remains secure and users have controlled access to the data they need. 